Hi, my name's Dane and welcome to Five Bookish Facts. Okay, so today we're taking a look at It by Stephen King. This was requested by Rebecca Grove, so thanks very much Rebecca for leaving a request. Uh, if you want a book or an author to be featured, leave a comment below and I will do as many of them as I can. I actually finished reading it about six months ago for the first ever time and obviously the movie's coming out as well, it's actually already out. Um, and so I thought it seemed like the perfect time to take a look at it. So if you're ready, let's go. Oh. Okay, so the first fact, it's, there's a common misconception that Pennywise the Clown is based on John Wayne Gacy, who's a, a real-life serial killer. Uh, Gacy actually used to dress up as a clown. He uh, killed and ate uh, over 70 kids and uh, buried them beneath his house. Um, pretty messed up stuff. King actually said, no, it wasn't John Wayne Gacy who inspired it. He actually had the idea when he was um, crossing a bridge and he was thinking about the old legend of a troll beneath the bridge and he thought, what would happen if that troll were to actually haunt a whole city rather than, rather than a bridge? And that's where the idea for it came from. So number two, um, King's kind of notorious for interlinking his different stories. So the Dark Tower series, for example, you'll see lots of the characters from that pop up in his other books. Uh, that's no different than with It. So Pennywise the Clown is either uh, directly in or is referenced in a number of his other books, including Grey Matter, 11-22-63, Insomnia, the, the Tommy Knockers, and there's one more, Dreamcatcher. The notes are up there, could you tell? Okay, so studies have shown that the release of the book and also the 1990 TV movie with Tim Curry actually created a whole generation of chorophobes. So a chorophobe is someone who's afraid of clowns. And they actually carried out these studies and they found out that uh, Generation Xers, as they're called, uh, have an increased incidence of chorophobia than other generations. And they actually were able to track it back to it and Pennywise the Clown. Okay, fact number four. So uh, King's been sober for quite a while now. He's actually been quite honest about his struggles with drugs and alcohol. Uh, at the time he was writing it, he was actually heavily using cocaine, and it was one of the last books. The last, the last one was actually the Tommy Knockers that he wrote whilst um, whilst under the influence, effectively. And he's been been sober ever since. So good lad, Stephen. So the most terrifying thing of all is that the evil that lurks beneath Derry in the novel, it returns every 27 years and the Tim Curry adaptation of it came out in 1990 and the new adaptation of it came out in 2017, which is 27 years. It's back, baby. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment with either a book, an author, a series, a genre, a publisher, you name it. Anything bookish related that you'd like me to do a top five video on and I will do my best. And I will see you sometime in the near future on a Wednesday. Bye bye, thanks.